All right, today we're gonna to take a look at a few different ways to connect your ClearTouch document camera, both the DC100 and the DC110. So uh, the first way we're gonna look at is just using the included USB cable uh, with the device. So this is gonna be the simplest way to connect. Uh, I've actually got this connected with the power cable here, uh, as well as the USB cable plugged directly into my document camera. Now the device will actually run solely off of the USB power. Uh, if your laptop, or in my case, the uh, PC module can output the correct power. Um, but I do have both plugged in there. So uh, with that, I've actually got that connected to the integrated PC module on my ClearTouch panel. Uh, and now I can hop in with the USB cable into pretty much any application that supports camera. So uh, this includes things even like video conferencing, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, we can show that uh, in there. But of course, uh, our main software here uh, at ClearTouch is our Snowflake software with our Canvas whiteboard. Um, and so here I'm able to hop in uh, open up the camera dialog box here on my uh, panel and right now I'm actually using the uh, webcam I have up here uh, but with the drop down menu I can actually go ahead and select uh, my other camera here as well and that's going to toggle over for me I can make that full screen uh, and now I can actually see the document camera here so uh, as I'm positioning uh, anything here you should see that showing up uh, directly on the board now so I've got my document camera uh, plugged in with the cable and of course I get all the great benefits I can you know snag a screenshot here uh, be able to bring that right in uh, to that whiteboard there so like I said that's kind of step one that's the simplest way using the USB cable uh, next up we'll show you a couple different ways using the Wi-Fi method uh, using the uh, the actual hotspot from the camera itself uh, to connect as well all right, so now we're going to take a look at connecting that document camera wirelessly to the ClearTouch interactive panel. So there's a few different ways that we can connect this and a few different ways that we can actually configure our network configurations uh, on the display to be able to not only connect our document camera, but also maintain internet access uh, to that built-in computer module. So we'll show you a few ways. The first way uh, on my display here, I've got the built-in computer module uh, and I'm just running off of the Wi-Fi here in our building. So I don't have an ethernet cable or anything plugged in. Uh, the first way is simply just connecting the Wi-Fi directly to um, the hotspot of the camera. So to prepare this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up here. Uh, I'm going to unplug all of the cables here from the back of the camera. And so this is going to put me into my wireless mode here. And so what I'm going to do is just go ahead, uh, I have to make sure the battery is charged here, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And that's going to give me some indication lights here on top of the, dis of, of the display. That's gonna go ahead and get started up and that's gonna boot up the SSID as well and start generating the hotspot for me uh, here. So now at the display, I wanna go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi of my ClearTouch PC module uh, directly to the camera. So we're gonna go into uh, the Wi-Fi settings here. I'm currently connected to our SSID here, but I can see right below that where it says CTI uh, and then I've got my long uh, identifier for that. Uh, and then it says no internet below that. So that's actually the network I'm gonna connect to here uh, and we can have that connect uh, directly to the camera. So now that I have that connected here, uh, we're, we're connected to the camera, but the problem with this scenario is I'm actually gonna lose my internet access. So even though I'm connected here uh, in, in essence to a Wi-Fi network, uh, I'm not gonna actually have internet, but I do have the ability to at least see what we're working with uh, on the camera. So for example, I'm going to use that. We'll go ahead and open up our Snowflake software. All right, and once our Snowflake software is open, uh, we'll go ahead and hop into the Canvas whiteboard here. All right, and with that, we should be able to pull up here uh, our camera option. Uh, and as you can see, even though I don't have uh, internet access, I am still connected to that camera. Uh, you can see on here, we'll make it full screen. Uh, as I walk over and adjust this, uh, we're able to see that actually showing up here uh, directly on our uh, board there as well. So, and it's telling us Wi-Fi camera uh, down here. So if I snap a screenshot, same thing we were doing earlier here, we still get all the same functionality there. Uh, now I can also carry the camera around the room if I want to. So not only just there at the table, you can see I can move this to another table location here, uh, just to be able to show pretty much anything that I'm doing here uh, in the environment is gonna show up to the board. So that's the true wireless connection. Um, but if we want to connect this Wi-Fi camera but still maintain internet access, there's a couple other ways that we can get this connected. So um, let's show a dual network scenario here uh, in the next clip. 
Okay, so now we're going to connect the ClearTouch document camera to the display using a dual network scenario. So uh, there's two ways we can accomplish this. Uh, I'm going to use actually a second Wi-Fi adapter so that I can es essentially have two Wi-Fi networks connected to my computer. Windows actually allows for multiple network connections over Wi-Fi. Um, but we can also do this with an Ethernet connection as well. So if I had a hardwired Ethernet connection on the display, I then free up the Wi-Fi antennas on that C ClearTouch PC module uh, to be able to connect there. So if I've got the Ethernet, I can also use the Wi-Fi to connect to the document camera, uh, and I maintain my internet connection over the Ethernet. So, uh, but let's show this way using a couple different uh, methods here. We've got the um, Wi-Fi adapter here. Um, simply any uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter will work on here. Uh, you do want to make sure that it is a fairly high-speed adapter so we can get that throughput of video uh, on there. But essentially, I'm going to take this, I'm going to plug it directly into uh, my computer module here on the sign and give that a second to recognize. Uh, and once I do that, now what I notice is on my Wi-Fi menu for Windows down here in the corner, you see at the very top, now I actually get a drop down here uh, that gives me two separate Wi-Fi networks. This happens automatically in Windows uh, when I plug in that second Wi-Fi card. So my main Wi-Fi here, simply called Wi-Fi, is now connected to our network here at our headquarters. Um, but if I go ahead and switch over to Wi-Fi 5, which is my uh, little adapter connected, now I can actually use that to connect directly to the document camera. So that same SSID that's broadcast there, that CTI uh, with my device identifier, we're going to connect to there. So. So we'll let that connect. I've got the two connections now, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 5 in my case. The numbers may be different depending on your, your network cards that you plug in there, uh, but you should see the two separate networks. So uh, we've got that there. Um, I should still have internet access. So if I hop out to uh, a simple web browser here, uh, I can browse the web, open up anything there, um, including if we hop into um, our Snowflake software again here. Uh, we'll launch into that. We should both be able to see the document camera uh, and then also have internet inside of Snowflake with that uh, as well. So we'll let that boot up. All right, so inside of Snowflake here, uh, of course I do need to update, but we'll go ahead and hop into uh, the Canvas whiteboard here again uh, and make sure we can connect to both of our devices. So uh, we're inside of this. Uh, we should have, again, full access to uh, the web inside of Snowflake. So I'm able to pull in things like a web browser here. Uh, I could even do things like search for uh, different YouTube videos, be able to bring those in, of course, here. Um, but with that, we should also be able to tie in uh, our camera here again. So I've got um, two different ones here. I've got the USB camera, but I've also got my Wi-Fi camera here. Um, and now I'm able to see uh, take screenshots of what we're doing here as well. Uh, and anything that I'm updating here uh, should show up on that uh, with that as well. So pretty cool little way to connect uh, to your display. There's a few different configurations, but you should be able to get your uh, DC100 and DC110 connected to your clear touch panel and still maintain that internet access at the same time. So, so the last way I want to show you guys how to connect your document camera to the clear touch panel is using the Connect DC app on the Android side of our clear touch panel. So you can find the app in the clear touch store again, just called Connect DC. I've got it up here in the top right corner. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and connect the panel to the camera. So in the settings here, uh, I'm going to go ahead into the Wi-Fi menu. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select. I've got my camera set up just like we did for the computer. I've got it generating its own hotspot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect here um, to the camera as well. So once we get the connected here, uh, we can go back home. And now we can go ahead and launch into uh, that Connect DC app. So once we do that, uh, we can connect here. We'll go ahead and allow that as well. Um, and now I've got it connected. So I've got my camera over here connected to this. Uh, and as you can see here on the board, uh, I'm able to see what we're working on there uh, through that as well. So it's a really cool way to connect uh, directly to the board. Even if you don't have a Windows computer or another device uh, connected to that display, we can actually connect right through uh, the Android side there as well. Uh, another feature of the Connect DC app on the ClearTouch panel uh, gives you some control over uh, naming the camera and also naming some of the, the settings on the camera as well. Um, so here on the right hand side, if I click the settings cog, that's going to take me into the menu here where I can actually modify uh, the Wi-Fi name of, of the camera here, even go ahead and password protect the connection to that as well. Um, so that way I can customize each camera for each teacher as well. Uh, if you'd like to sign up for a demo, you can go to our website at www.getcleartouch.com forward slash demo and feel free to pick a time and sign up for a demo.